tonight that the sound of praise will never depart from your house in the name of Jesus. The Lord will clothe your family with the garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not celebrate this year, that power shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare every rage of darkness against your glory shall scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, permit no man to do them wrong. He rebuke him for their sake. He said, touch no my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Everyone that planning to destroy your joy, fire will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Everyone gather together. The Bible says, surely they shall gather, but not by us. Whosoever gather together against us, the Bible says, they will fall for our sake. I stand here to decree every evil gathering against your children, Every Bugatti against your marriage, every Bugatti against your joy, every Bugatti against your health, wherever they are deliberating your matter, fire will destroy them in the name of Jesus. They shall be destroyed. They shall be destroyed. They shall be destroyed. They shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here by the power in the name of Jesus. Everywhere they go because of you, in order to cause damage in your family, fire will destroy them in Jesus' name. I pray they will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every other wickedness erected because of you, every other wickedness erected because of marriage, today by the power in the Lord of Jesus, the altar will catch fire. The altar will catch fire. The altar will catch fire. In the name 
about Jesus. Everyone here tonight, that they are marked you to die this year. Akusa to live by Yakasandaya. By the power in the name of Jesus, every arrow of sudden death, fire to your family. Every arrow of sudden death, fire to your brain. Every arrow of sudden death, fire to your life. I command the arrow to go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, they shall go back. 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 They shall go back in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. Every arrow of paralysis, they want to paralyze you. Today, by the power, in the name of Jesus, I command the arrow to go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, you will not be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. Every incantation to run you mad. Every power that want to run you mad. Today, by the power, in the name of Jesus, that arrow shall go back to send them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody, the blessing you did not bargain for shall locate you by fire. In the name of Jesus, are you here tonight? You have revealed your secret to somebody and they are using it in the covenant against you. A Zwaka Satari Kasadai by the power in the name of Jesus who never knows your secrets and they want to use to destroy you. In the name of Jesus, the ground will open up and swallow them. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall be swallowed. They shall be swallowed. They shall be swallowed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. Whether you're amen like or not, you will not die but live and declare the word of the Lord in the land of the living. I pray for somebody, the anointing of favor, ha, that your destiny will be waiting for. Oh, yeah, receive the anointing. 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 In the name of Jesus, you will be highly favored. 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 In the name of Jesus, every generational mistake that your people have made when in your back here, in your village, generational mistake, they are mistakenly serve an idol, and the idol is angry because of you tonight. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I disconnect you from your foundation. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect you. I disconnect you. I disconnect you. I disconnect you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. By the power of the name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord ha, that make her rich and have no sorrow. The blessing that your destiny will be waiting for. If you ever this loud, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus, you shall begin to go far. Anointed to exhale beyond every of your father's house. Receive the anointing by fire. In the name of Jesus, are you here tonight, they have fired the arrow that you will return back to square one. Hey, the arrow is planted in your life to return you back to square one. I recast it any pasakayana by the power and the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare, anyone under the sound of my voice that they have fired the arrow to return you back to square one. If you ever this loud, the arrow shall go back to sender. It shall go back to sender. It shall go back to sender. It shall go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. The Lord will settle your matter. I said the Lord will settle your matter. I said the Lord will settle your matter. Everyone here under the sound of my voice uh, that you are feeling that God, where will I celebrate? Where will I jubilate? Where will people gather to celebrate with me? I stand here to decree your hour has come. I said this year you will celebrate. This year you will jubilate. This year your joy must be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone here that the powers of the Father's house have been attacking your glory. To them by the power in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, shall rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight. Your glory will arise, your glory will arise, your glory will arise, your glory will arise in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody else, every satanic decree over your family, every satanic decree over your children, every satanic decree over your womb. Every satanic decree over your marriage today by the power in the name of Jesus that decrease and by fire. 
It's a fire. It's a fire. In the name of Jesus, every gang up against your life, I decree today, you will rise above them in the name of Jesus. You will rise above them in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. Every conspiracy in your workplace, they have gathered together to put you into trouble at your workplace. Today, by the power. In the name of Jesus, over your family, they will fail. Over your job, they will fail. Anyone here that they have planned to disgrace this year. The Bible says in Isaiah 61 verse 7, Isaiah 61 verse 7, instead of shame, you will receive double honor. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. I pray for somebody, you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will go for you. It will go ahead of you. It will make your crooked way straight. It will sort things out for you. This year, no matter the plan of the wicked, no matter how they have succeeded over your life, this very year, your destiny will be elaborated. You are coming out of that cage. You are going far. You will go far. You will go far. But please, I beg you, by the time God delivers you, don't forget God. Because it's he that took you out of wilderness. I pray that I be well with you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, heavenly Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, my, begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to thank God tonight. Because your victory is guaranteed. No matter what the plan of the enemy is, you are going to be victorious. I am victorious. Yes, I am victorious. In, he has given us victory. He has given us victory. Father, you have given us victory because you are victorious. When we go into battle, we are always victorious. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, every Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Say, my Father, my Father, you are the very present help in time of trouble. In tonight's meeting, as I call upon you, answer me by fire. In the name of Jesus, thank God to answer you, Father, answer me now. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, answer me now. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, prayer, aha, prayer, oh yeah, prayer. Thank God to answer you, in the name of Jesus, Father, answer me now. Answer me now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth of prayer. Oh, you answer me now. In the name of Jesus, Baba, answer me now. In the name of Jesus, oh, you pray the prayer. Father, answer me now. In the name of Jesus, oh, you pray the prayer. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Say, heaven over my prayer tonight. Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Pray, 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 pray. Aha. I beg you, pray that prayer. Heaven over my prayer. Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Open. Oh, yeah. Open. Oh, yeah. Open. Aha. Open. Oh, yeah. Open. Open your water prayer. Let the heaven open. Let the heaven open. In the name of Jesus. Let the heaven open. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Beloved. The Bible says life and death, the lies and the power of tongue. Only those who love it can eat the fruit thereof. Beloved, you are going to use your mouth to pray tonight. If you love yourself, pray. If you don't love yourself, please pray for me. You are going to lift up your voice here. Many of us are supposed to have gone far than this. There are some powers that say, no, this is how far you can go. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking about tonight. Any limit set in your life, huh? in order to hinder you from going to where God wants you to go, today by the power, in the name of Jesus, you shall break that barrier. 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 It doesn't matter what the enemy is planning. I pray for somebody here. Because of you and your family, the Lord will break protocol. Ha! In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray like this. Shout this one loud and clear. Say, every evil chain, ha! every evil chain that has tied down my destiny. Hey, you know that? I want to break it by fire. This is a prayer of deliverance. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist, up to now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Until when you are violent, you might not be able to possess your possession. Beloved, we are going to pray. Say every evil chain 
that has signed down my destiny. Beloved, if you own this business, you better measure this. If you own this marriage, you better measure this. If you own this destiny, you better measure this. If you own this degree, you have a, a, a first class material tied down somewhere is a problem. Ah, you are going to pray. Shout to the soul and agree. Say every evil chain. Ha! That has used to tie down my destiny. Enough is enough. Oh, yeah, break my fire. Oh, put your water. Break, break, break. Aha. Oh, yeah, break. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, break, break, break. Aha. That's why we're here. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, break, break, break. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Aha. Pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Aha. Pray, 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 pray. Aha. I know that I'm Every day. That they are used to tie me down. Oh, put your mouth and break. Oh, you are breaking up. Enough is enough. Oh, you are breaking up. 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 Oh, put your mouth and break. Oh, you are breaking up. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you are breaking up. Oh, you are breaking up. Yes, Lord. Oh, put your breath. Oh, your breath, breath, breath. In the name of Jesus. Oh, your breath. Oh, your breath. Oh, your breath. Oh, your breath. Aha. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. We are going to pray that prayer one more time. Beloved, there is a particular invisible chain that has tied down somebody's life from moving forward. They can tie down certificate. They can tie down anything. They can tie whatever you think can make you progress. They can tie womb. They can tie marriage. They can tie business. They can tie everything. No wonder. Jesus said clearly when he was going to have a triumphant entry, he went, he went ahead in Luke chapter 19. <laughs> Let's go there to the Bible. I want us to pray with understanding tonight. In Luke chapter 19, verse 30. <laughs> I want someone to read. The Bible says, Luke 19 30. He says, Jesus said to them, <laughs> let me go for verse 29. And it came to pass, Luke 19 21. It came to pass when he drew near to Bethany, uh, Bethany at the mountain of Oliver, he then sent two of his disciples. He said to them, Go into that village. Go into that village. So some people listening to me tonight, their destiny have been tied down in the village. Jesus told them, it is a no bother to our city. Go to the village. Many people are wondering, why wow, things not working well for me? I'm in a falling down. Go to that village. Ah, what happened there? You know, said, when you go there, when you enter the village, you will find a donkey tied down. In the olden days, you all know, donkey is for business transaction. That's a means of transportation. You should go from one business to the other. Meanwhile, they are this one, this particular one that Jesus was meant to ride on was tied somewhere. Ah, if they can tie the donkey that Jesus was in need of, you know what? They can tie anything in the people's life. They can tie your womb, they can tie your marriage, they can tie your certificate, they can tie, ah, you are going to come. Say powers. That has tied down my glory inside my village. Ah, you are a liar. Die, 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 die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aha. Power that has tied down my life. That has tied down my life. I don't know what they have tied. In your life, anything the enemy has tied. In your village, they must let go. They must let go. They must let go. Oh, we are going to pray. Oh, you are praying that prayer. In Jesus' name, we are praying. There is somebody who has not prayed that prayer at all. They can tie a, an organ inside the village. He said, go to that village. We are going to say, angel of the living God. Ha! Because they are our servant. They are our messenger. Say, angels of the living God. Ha! Arise in your power. Go to my village. We are remember the time of glory. Set me free. Oh, yeah. Pray, 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 pray. Ah, oh, put your mouth and pray. Wherever they have time now. Oh, do I serve me free? Oh, do I serve me free? Oh, do I serve me free? Oh, yeah. Pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are a angel of the living God. Arise in your power. 
you have my permission. Go to my village. Anywhere. They have done my life. Anywhere. They have done my destiny. Anywhere. They have done my destiny. Set me free. 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 Oh, yeah, Papa, Papa. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. That's why we are here. I beg you in the name of God. Oh, yeah, prayer, prayer. You will be set free. 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 Oh, yeah, prayer, prayer. You will be set free. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are not here to joke tonight. There is a particular invisible rope that has been tied, that tied people down to the place. He said, go to that village. Ha! When you get there, let me go there. You will find a donkey tied down, of which no man has never sat on. He now commanded the disciple, lose it and bring them here. Beloved, we might not have the disciple of Jesus Christ here, but we can send the angel of God to your village. Many people's destiny have been programmed in their village. And that's why you don't wonder. He said, go into that in an opposite village. You are going to pray that prayer one more time. I don't know what they have tied down in your life. Some people are working, but it's nothing to show for it. They have tied down something in your village. I don't know what they have tied down. Today, by the power, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now turn into prayer. Say, angels of the living God, <laughs> arise in your power. Go into my father's house. Go into my mother's house. Go into my in-law's side. Wherever they have died down in my life, set me free by fire. Oh, you're pray, 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 pray. Aha! Why are you not married? They have signed up something that your husband will not look at. They have signed up something. Oh, you have paid up in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aha! Oh, yeah. Pray, 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 pray. Open your prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh, your pray. Oh, your pray. Help yourself. That's why we're here. Whatever the enemy has tied down, is it your business? They must have tied it down. Is it your marriage? They must have tied it down. Oh, your pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mother pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, your pray that prayer. That's why we are here. You are not here to joke. Oh, your pray is now. Anything the enemy has tied down in my life, set me free, Lord, in Jesus' name. We are set free. We are going to pray. We are going to pray again. In our setting, if you look at verse 21, 31, and if anyone should ask, so there are some voices that will raise up each time you are about to be delivered. They will raise up their voice. They out dare you. Do you know that many people listen to me today? God has shown you the great thing that He wants to do in your life. You saw it like a real image. You saw it real in your dream. I see that thing will come to pass. You are waiting. You are waiting. But lo and behold, there are some voices that has risen up. That those who have been programmed to help you, please be their enemy. <coughs> those who have been programmed to help you, the enemy has blindfolded them. They have blindfolded them. They will not turn your back against each other. Those are the ones I'm addressing tonight. Because why? Something has been tied down your family. Look at me very well. If, are you where God wants you to be? If the answer is no, pray that prayer loud and clear. There are some voices that are standing up that you will never be delivered. I don't know the King Uzziah that is in your father's house. I don't know the King Uzziah that is your mother's house that is raising up their voice that you will remain like this till you die. I stand there as a prophet. To dedicate your life. If you ever this doubt, any voice that says you will not go far, hey, any voice that says this is how far you can go, by the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord will silence them tonight. They shall be silenced. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now you have sent the angel there. You are going to pray like this. Say, any wicked power. That is challenging my deliverance from my village. Ha! Say any wicked power challenging my deliverance from my village. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. Oh, yeah, die, die. Oh, yeah. 
Disciples answered the man. They say, Our Lord Jesus Christ is in need of it. So they were, they were, they were sent away. He said, Why are you losing this donkey? Leave the donkey alone. Let us let him remain like this. We love Luke chapter 22, verse 22. Luke 22, verse 22. The Bible says, From the days of um, uh, this is the days of vengeance that that thing that God has written concerning you will be fulfilled. <laughs> you are going to pray Luke 21, 22. Let's go there. Luke 21 and 2. I use this prayer on Sunday in, in the church, and people understood what God, what God was doing. He said, This is the day. Hey, look at this. This is the days of vengeance. Vengeance that God was arise. I cannot continue like this. He must do something. He said, These are the days of vengeance. That the things that God has written concerning you ha, will, will be fulfilled. So those things will not be fulfilled. Until the vengeance of the Lord arrives. That was why I said, Go there. Anyone that challenge you, tell them that I am in need of it. Many of us today, you shall be kingdom expander. Many of you today, God has made you to be a blessing to generation. But because you are tied somewhere, that's why those things are not going to pass. But tonight I stand by the power in the name of Jesus. Any power that has tied down your marriage, tied down your womb, tied down your children. Tie down your destiny, tie down your certificates in order not to make progress in life. The vengeance of the Lord will silence the tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be silent. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. You are going to pray. These are the powers that make your helpers your enemies. Those who God has designed to help your destiny, the enemy has blindfolded them and now turn them to your enemies. You are going to turn it to prayer. Say we can power. That want to put a separation between me and my end in my mind, help of destiny. Hey, say we can powers that want to put separation ha, between myself and my helpers of destiny. You the power, you must die by fire tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you pray. Oh, you pray. Oh, you pray. Help yourself. Oh, you pray. Aha. Open your other prayer. Father Lord, you the power that want to put a person between me and my upper. Oh, you are prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are prayer in the name of Jesus. Open your other prayer. Open your other prayer. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Go back to that Luke chapter 19, verse 34. You know, 34. And they said to them, the Lord is in need of it. Beloved, Luke 19, 34. God wants to use you. There are so many assignments, hey, beloved, that the Lord has commissioned into your destiny. Until some things are fulfilled in your life, the assignment will not be fulfilled. Many people are just having ideas and then ideas and then ideas, but until you get delivered from the chain that they have used to tie you down, the fulfillment of that thing is very slim. You are going to turn it to prayer. Ha. They will say, and they said, the Lord is in need of it. You are going to lift up your voice. Say, my father, my father, deliver me so that I can be useful for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are praying prayer. Oh, you are delivering me. Oh, you are delivering me. Oh, you are praying prayer. Aha. Oh, you are praying. Oh, you are praying. Oh, you are praying. Oh, you are praying. I beg you, pray. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we are pray, 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 pray. in Jesus' name. We are praying. You know when that's the center we are going to write. You must be delivered so that you can fulfill what God has written concerning you. In Acts chapter 16, verse 25, we know the story of Paul and Silas. Acts 16, 25, Paul and Silas were doing the work of God. And lo and behold, they ended up in the prison. Now, before they got to the prison, they were doing the work. But as soon as they got to the prison, they were tied down with the chain. Ah! So that the work they are doing will be frustrated. Ah, Mugbandwala, let's say. I pray for several people on the line tonight. I don't know the assignments that the Lord has commissioned into your heart, that your heart really want to do, but because you are tied down, you couldn't do them. I raise my hand like Moses raised his hand up. I write decree tonight by the power and the name of Jesus, you shall be set free tonight. You shall be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Born of Silo were tied down. Chains in their hands, chains in their legs, and they shut the gate of the prison. How would they preach inside the gate? They couldn't preach. They couldn't do anything. They were just there, locked down. And that's how many destinies today that are supposed to be shining are inside the cage of the enemy. Today, you must set free. The Bible says, whosoever the Son of Man is set free, is free indeed. I don't know the chain. You see, your hand symbolizes your hand work. If something is wrong with your business, please anoint your hand and pray. You are going to pray this prayer for another prayer. Say, every evil chain that the enemy has used to tie down my hand, you that can break. Oh, yeah, break, break. Oh, yeah, break this. Break this. Oh, yeah, break this. Oh, yeah, break this. Oh, yeah, break this. Oh, yeah, break, 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 break. Shake your hand. Shake your hand. Oh, yeah, break. Oh, put your water break. Aha. Break. Oh, yeah, break, break, break. Oh, yeah, break, 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 break. Aha. Oh, put break it right now. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, the chain is broken. <laughs> From today, your hand has been set on fire. No more poverty you have. The Bible says, I was young. Now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed bread for bread. I decree tonight, in the name of Jesus, because of tonight's prayer, you will never bear to eat again in the name of Jesus. You will not bet to it. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Paul and Silas, back to that story. They tied their hands. They tied their legs so that they will, they will limit their potentials. To limit them from preaching. <laughs> ah, and lo and behold, something happened. One, all of a sudden, they used two weapons. Weapon number one, they began to sing praises to the Lord. For your mercy is forever, forever. Amen. Oh, yeah. The mistake they made that was that they could not tie their mouth. They began to sing praises. And they prayed. While they were praying, the Bible said God came down to the prison and the foundation of that prison yard was vibrating. When they got there, the chains were loose. But my, to my greatest surprise, not only their chains were loose, everybody in that prison, their doors were open and the chain were loose. Why? Because one person delivers your family can bring deliverance to everybody around you. So that's why we want to pray that prayer again. I don't know the chain they have used to tie your womb. The chain must break tonight. The chain they have used to tie your certificate. It must break tonight. The chain they have been used to draw your destiny around the circle. The chain must break tonight. You are going to lift up your voice and pray this one and clear. Say every evil chain. I can yes, say every evil chain that has been used to tie down my life. Enough is enough. Oh, you break my fire. Break, 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 break. Oh, put your back. Oh, yeah, break. break. Oh yeah, break it! Oh yeah, break it! Oh yeah, break it! Oh yeah, break it! Aha! Break, 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 break! Aha! You need to pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, pray! Oh yeah, pray! That's why we are here. I beg you tonight, in the name of Jesus. 
open your other breath. Azuka teni braya kazada. Oh ya pena pena. In the name of Jesus. Oh ya pena pena. The chain is broken. The chain is broken. The chain is broken. The chain is broken. Chain in your hands. Chain in your legs. Chain in your womb. Chain in your brain. Oh ya break. 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 In Jesus name. We are prayed. Beloved, one of the things, the reason why they do, they, they change people's life is because they want to weaken their spiritual authority. What does that mean? They know that when you pray, you'll be okay. That's why many people, you need to be wise and very, ask for God's wisdom in every step you take. Every step. I only tell people, after deliverance, make sure you don't get upset. That is the easiest way that the devil can return by what you have just, what you have just dropped. Easiest way. You are going to lift up before tonight and say this all out and clear. Say wicked powers that want to kill my prayer life. Ha! Say wicked power that want to change my prayer life. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. Oh, you are prayer, prayer, prayer. Oh, put your mouth up. And not this time. Oh, you are prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, prayer. Oh, yeah, prayer. Oh, yeah, prayer. Oh, yeah, prayer, 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 prayer. Ah, oh, put your mother, pray, pray, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray, oh, yeah, pray, oh, yeah, pray. The power that wants to weaken your spiritual authority. Oh, yeah, destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus. <coughs> destroy them tonight. Enough is enough. Oh, yeah, destroy them. Oh, yeah, destroy them. Oh, yeah, destroy them. Oh, yeah, destroy them. Help yourself tonight. Every power that wants to weaken your spiritual authority. Oh, yeah, break their power. Break their power. Break their power. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, break it. Oh, yeah, break it. Oh, yeah, break it. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. You know how the enemy can slow people down again? It's too sudden sickness. When they fire the arrow of sickness to people, when you are in the hospital, God forbid, how would you pray? How would you fulfill the destiny? And I always tell people, to everyone that is called a child of God, that there are some destinies connected to you that they, they must arise. Until when you make it, those people might not make it. Now imagine if your own help of destiny is in the prison. How would they look at you? And spiritually, the enemy has packed so many people in the prison. You see them walking on the street, but there's, there's something inside of them that say, you know what, the seed of greatness must collapse. We know where tonight we need to pray. <laughs> you must get out of that prison. Many of us are moving, but we are not making progress. What does that mean? Imagine when they tie a goat into a particular pole at a particular distance. The goat will be moving around the circle. Moving around the circle, moving around the circle. But it's not making progress. We did that limit. That's where many people's destiny have been placed. By now, you know yourself. This is April 2024. You should be this particular level, but you are not there. Why? Because there are some powers that I said, this is how far you can go. Pharaoh said to the children of Israel, after the 10th plague, he said, okay, guys, I know, I will let you go, but please do not go far. You are here with me. What kind of power is that? That says you can go, but don't go far. I decree to die. Everyone that has issued negative statement into your life, that you will go, but you will not go far. You are come to the United Kingdom, you've been to Canada, you've been to America, but they say you will return empty and dead. Azuka, Terika, Santaya, by the power in the name of Jesus, they shall be disappointed tonight. In the name of Jesus, you are going to turn it to prayer. You are going to pray. Say, powers. That I vowed that I will return back to square one. Ha! You are a liar. Die, 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 die. Oh, yeah. Pe, 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 pe. Help yourself tonight. You know where you are. You know the level you are. Open your water prayer. Oh, yeah. Pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to go back. It does to work. I refuse to go back. In the name of Jesus. Forward ever. Backward never. Forward ever. Backward never. Forward never. Backward never. Oh, yeah. Pray, 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 pray. I beg you tonight. That's why we're here. I beg you pray. Open your water prayer. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, pray, oh yeah, pray, oh yeah, pray, oh yeah, pray, aha, pray, oh yeah, pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Many of you, 
listen to me. God has laid some things into your heart that do this for this, do this for that, but those things are not coming to pass. Look at the dream of Joseph. The father loved him so much. He designed for him the cloth of many colors, but the brother were not happy about it. If you think that everybody is happy with your program, you are, you are deceiving yourself. Instead of you to keep your secret to yourself, one minute, bring a call. We need to say, ah, you know what? I just got a new shoe. You know what? I don't really that. You know what? I want to get there. You know what? Somebody has proposed. To, what is your business? Keep yourself to yourself. Let God, let your testimony speak, not you. Let your testimony speak, not you. Beloved, we want to cry to the Lord and tell God, say, my father, my father, I am more than what I am at the moment. The Bible says I can do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can think or imagine, Ephesians 3.20. He can do more than that, but God uh, cannot be in that. But the only thing that the enemy knows, he says, great and effectual doors are open unto you, but there are many adversaries. Many of us have missed our boss of destiny. Where you are supposed to get down there, you are not there. The enemy just minister to you to move to the next door stop. And that's why the journey of four days becomes 40 years in your life. You are going to pray because this year, ha, this very year, if your amen is loud and your faith is strong, your testimony will announce you to the world. In the name of Jesus, I say your testimonies, if we are not so family to the world, in the mighty name of Jesus, your testimony, we are not so to the world, in the name of Jesus, you are going to pay like this, say wicked powers. That says, as I, I can go, but I must not go far. Are you, my God, die, 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 die? Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, pray, pray. They say, I can go, but I must not go far. Oh, yeah, pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Help yourself to them. That's why we are here. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Aha, pray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my brother, in the name of Jesus, any power that here can go, but I must not go far. You are not my God. In this land, I must make it. I must make it. Oh, yeah, pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Ah, ah. Help yourself tonight in the name of Jesus. You must make it. This is your land. The Bible says, wherever the son of a bitch are turned upon, you will take possession of it. Open your water, pray. In the name of Jesus, I must make it. I must make it. I must make it. I will go far. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Many of us have got what it takes to be on the top there. A couple of months back, I met the, one of the MPs in the United Kingdom here. He said he came to this point. He couldn't speak a word of English. Member of Parliament. He couldn't speak a word of English. He said, Pastor, I said, yes, sir. <laughs> he said, now, I'm now the MP of this constituency for the past 13 years. Beloved, it takes man of integrity. It's a man that has determined that says, you know what, I don't care what will happen, I will get to that place. Beloved, there are some powers in this land that swallows destiny. If you allow your destiny to swallow the bodies in your court, Matthew 11, 12, you see from the days of John the Baptist, up to now, the kingdom of God from a violence, until when you are violent, you might not be able to possess your possession. Beloved, there are some things that God has released to you ages ago. But the priest of Persia was there. If Daniel, during Daniel's time, stopped praying, beloved, he would have died without him receiving what God has given to him. And when Daniel kept praying, day one, day two, day three, day four, up to day 21, God now look at Daniel. Why is this man still praying about this thing? I have said answers to you now. God now trace the path of the answer. In that father, there's a power in the second heaven called the priest of Persia that withheld answers to Daniel's prayer. Daniel was praying, God has released answer, but the answer did not get to Daniel. That is what's happened to many of us. God has released answers to you. You saw it in your dream. Prophecy has come forth. People have told you that this is what God is about to do in your life. But yet, you could not get this to possess you all. Joseph saw a dream of himself that he would be a great person, that sun and the moon that will start, they will bow down to him. Do you know how many years it took him to get to that place? It 
take one secret of Joseph was that God was with him. God was with him. When the brother was going to kill him, he said, let us kill him. And let's see how his deal will become reality. God was with him. He took him to Potiphar. God was with him. The woman lured him to fall into sin. Left the cause as an evidence. God was with him. He did not fall into the sin with that woman. God was with him. A man of integrity. And that church that the woman took was what led him to, pray, uh, to prison. When he got to prison, he was there, now still fulfilling destiny, interpreting things. Beloved, there is something inside of you that everyone has planted. You don't need to pray for it, everyone. He has gotten a gift inside of you that people around you should be paying to, to receive. But many of us are just casual with our life. Oh, I'm okay. There's nothing wrong from you doing cleaning. What is wrong with staying in cleaning and not improving yourself? There's nothing wrong. I started in this country. The first job I done was the security man. From there, I graduated to, <coughs> to kitchen potter, sorry. From here, to kitchen potter. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. From kitchen potter, I went back to security again. You know what? what is wrong is that you are remaining where you are. Be contented. Where well, one of those things now? I've met somebody in this country 42 years doing cleaning. What kind of life is that? How would you, you are good to pray. The person was making progress, was moving, but no progress. No progress at all. You are going to lift up. I don't know the chain they have used to tie me down. Oh, no, how the chain they have used to tie you down. Look at you now. By this time, by this age, you should be married. But that's a particular chain that they have used to tie you down. Oh, yeah, pray. Say every evil chain that they have used to tie my family down. Oh, yeah, break my fire. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, put your mother prayer in the name of Jesus. Pray for your children. That chain must not be transferred to your children. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Aha. Oh, put your mother prayer. Every good chain that is been tied to your life that says you will not set you down. I break the chain. I break the chain. Oh, yeah, break it tonight in the name of Jesus. I beg you, break. Oh, yeah, break. Oh, yeah, break. Aha. Pray, 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 pray. I love you. You're praying this. Oh, yeah, break. Bread is here tonight. In the name of Jesus, sir. my mother bread is here. My brother bread is here. Oh, yeah, break it. You must fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus, sir. Oh, yeah, pray that prayer. Father, Lord, every evil chain that they have used to tie me down in the physical, in the spiritual, every chain used for my children to tie their life down. I break the chain. I break the chain. Help yourself to them. Oh, you break it. 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 I break it down. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you break it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you break it. Pepe, 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 pepe. Aha. Oh, put your mouth up. Hey. That's why we are here. Oh, you break the chain. Oh, you break the chain. Today is your day. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You know what? They said the donkey that we already looked after 19 was now. The donkey, no man has never used the donkey before. So the donkey have been preserved and been kept for Jesus. Jesus said, Go and bring the donkey. I will ride on the donkey tonight. And Jesus stood on the donkey. And the whole city of Bethany, they were celebrating Jesus and the donkey. They put down Rosary, they put down this just to celebrate the donkey. Why? This was somebody who had been tied in the village. <laughs> By the power in the name of Jesus, you are under the sound of my voice. You know that you are not where God wants you to be. You are not in the level you wish to be in your life. Today, by the power, in the name of Jesus, every evil chain that has tied down your life, today the chain is broken by fire. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. Many of us, the chain they have used us to tie out, it could be a sickness. I've seen somebody before who I was applying for a particular job. Stage one, stage two, up to the final stage. Many people were dropped along the interview and everything like that. And when they got to final stage, congratulations, you made it to the final. Okay, don't worry. This is your office. They show me everything tomorrow or Monday. Come and start the job. He was so happy. When he got home over the weekend, re ready, getting ready for Monday morning, all of a sudden, when he arrived at the office in Sunday, the enemy has pulled the chain over the weekend. And what happened to him? 
when you go to them, they say, sorry, we forgot to ask you to do a medical report in the process of the interview. That's just like a formality. Just go and do the medical report. I want you to do it, get the key and enter your office and start your job. He said, no, fantastic salary, official car, everything. And when he got to go and do the medical report, the second day they got the result, they say your liver is malfunctioning. Therefore, we cannot employ you. They, that, that was it. They put it in. What if I want to fall for you? They are pulled the chain that no, you cannot. Somebody will go through so many stages. Ah, but by the power in the blood of Jesus, every evil chain that the enemy has used to tie down your family, to tie down your work, to tie down your business, to tie down your children, to them by the power. In the name of Jesus, the chain is broken tonight. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. In the name of Jesus, a sample fire, amen. 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 In Jesus' name, fire. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We get to bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank you. Let's worship him. Let's give him all the glory and adoration for his good and his mercy enduring forever. The mountain has been broken. The chain has been broken. Ha! I said the chain has been broken. Somebody need to go say the chain has been broken. I am set free. I am set free. Say it to yourself. I see for a minute. Don't worry. After tonight's meeting, hey, those things you have been praying to God for, they will be delivered to you miraculously in the name of Jesus. Is that the contract you have been looking for? They will be delivered miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. By the power in the name of Jesus, the miracle of how did you do it? The miracle of how did it happen? If your heaven is loud, receive it by fire. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody here. Before the end of this month, your phone will ring. And the news you will hear will bring bubbles, yes, of joy from your face. And you will see the son that says, come and join me, sing hallelujah. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, fire. Tonight, I'm talking about what I tell you, God of suddenly appear by fire. God of suddenly, beloved, there is a God that appears when all hope is lost. There is a God that appears when you know nothing to do again. There is a God that appears and shows himself as a sovereign God in your life. Tonight, I pray for somebody here by the power in the name of Jesus, over what you are passing through, the God of suddenly we appear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will appear. How do I know that? Isaiah 48 verse 3. Isaiah 48 verse 3, the Bible says, I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth out of my mouth, and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly, haha, I did them, and they all came to pass. So, what God has said He will do in your life, He said, Don't worry about the formalities. But this one I've said, they what I from the beginning, they went forth out of my mouth, and I caused them to hate. All of a sudden, I did them, and those things come to pass. I pray for somebody, all what God has written concerning you. <coughs> We surely come to pass in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Psalm 102, verse 2. He said, God, that was the prayer of Psalmist, do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. So there will be a day that you'll be passing through one thing or another. Your husband cannot help you. Your children cannot help you. In fact, you just say, God, do not this the kind of prayer. Father, don't hide your face from you in the day of my trouble. A sister coming recently. I don't even know her from anywhere. Somebody gave my number, my number to me, to the glory of God. He said, Pastor, 
this and this and this, these are going through. Ah, I said, Auntie, let us pray. While we are praying, the Lord just said, I should say to her, please, so just, you know you have messed up. You have messed up. There's no doubt about that. But you cannot pray for that. Can't see the kids. No, 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 no. The only thing God said, I should tell you, is that go down your nails and begin to ask for mercy. Because why? Mercy prevail over judgment. The sister said, is that all? I said, well, that's what I just feel my spirit happy to tell you. Is that, he said, that's it. Just ask for for this. I cannot let the fact that you are falling into one sin or the other concerning this matter. But please let mercy prevail. Father, I have messed up. Father, I have done this. Father, I have done that. If I have done this, I have done this. Please let your mercy, because if mercy did not speak, they will end up sending her back home or back to the jail. Into the jail. Ah! Those are the two options. So you must cry for mercy. He said, do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. And lo and behold, I gave her the mercy prayer. She prayed the prayer. Didn't. And I said to her, call me and sit at the time. I'll pray with you. I will begin to do that. On the day she was meant, she appeared in the court. When she got to the court, that is to the glory of the Almighty God, as she entered, the people entered, the position entered, the judge was sent down. And while they started talking, the judge just asked her to keep quiet. She shouldn't say nothing. And the two opposite people you know, they were facing each other. After facing and facing and facing, she did not say what. All of a sudden, she said, Can I make my judgment? He said, Sister, you are discharged. Go. That was it. What spoke for that sister was mercy. She called upon the Lord. He said, God, do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call you. You must say, Answer me speedily. That is what the God of suddenly can do. In Psalm 143, verse 7. 143, verse 7. He said, Answer me speedily, O Lord. Why? For my spirit fails. Many people are passing through this. These are the kind of prayers you should be praying. Do not hide your face for me, lest I will be like those who go down into the pit. In verse 8, cast me to hear your loving kindness in this morning. For I do, for you do I trust. Cause me to know the way which I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto you. Beloved, God answers prayers speedily. Let me tell you some fact that we need to know tonight. God can answer you suddenly. Suddenly. When all hope is lost. Suddenly, God will say, I am rare. He said, God, your times and season. Are in the hand of the Lord. It's not your own hand, it's the hand of God. Psalm 34, verse 14. It's in the hand of God. He said, The time and the season, they are in the hand of the Lord. Number three, God is a God of possibility. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Luke 1 37. Say, For with God, nothing, including your own case, will be impossible. There's nothing too hard for God to do. Fact number four, he said, God does whatever pleases him, not about you. Whatever pleases God, he will do it. And God is a good God. So he wanted to do good to, to his children. In Psalm 115, verse 3, you have to say, God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. But pastor, if God knows, why is he punishing me? No, he wants to pass through wilderness so that he can humble you, so that he can come out fresh as one as good. Verse number, number, number five, whatever God promised that he will do, he will surely do it. Ezekiel 24, verse 14, he said, I, O Lord, have spoken it. It shall surely come to pass, and I will do it. I will not hold back, nor will I spare, nor I relent. Will I relent? According to your ways and according to your deeds, they will judge you, says the Lord your God. You know well, God said, I have spoken it. And shall come to pass, and surely I will do it. I pray for somebody. Every good thing that the Lord has promised you to do this year, He will surely do it in the name of Jesus. Joshua chapter twenty-one, verse thirty-four. Joshua twenty-one, verse thirty-five. This was one of my messages on Sunday at church. He said, "For now, a word felt of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the hand of Israel, everything came to pass. So everything God has said to them came to pass in their life." I pray for somebody here. God is in heaven. He will perfect all that concerns you and your family in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Who need 
the God of suddenly. Number one, if you have been pushed to a wall in a particular situation, you need to pray the prayer we are praying tonight. Push to the wall. You just fed up. You are like killing yourself. Push to the wall. Don't kill yourself. I beg you in the name of God. The devil will minister to you to kill yourself, but if that's not the end of the world, you want to kill yourself, that's the end of it. But please, God is telling you tonight that I am the God of suddenly. Please, if you have been pushed to the world, I will come suddenly to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, you see, those who are supposed to be at the top, but where they are seeing themselves at the bottom, beloved, you need to pray the prayer we are praying tonight. Number three people, who need this prayer? Who need this God? People that has made it before. You've bought houses, you've bought home, you've got cars, and now you are being squashed in the ground. You are now a shadow of yourself. You are not even where you are where before. Beloved, you need the God of suddenly to appear in your life. The, there are people here, they're supposed to be seeing promotion, but what they are seeing is demotion. Beloved, you need the prayer you are praying tonight. God of suddenly appear in this matter. You need to name that matter. Don't be general father, appear in my life, and mention the matter. Mention the case, and I can guarantee you, as the Lord lives it, the God of suddenly will appear in the name of Jesus. Who needs the prayer? Those who are seeing frustration instead of celebration. You are supposed to be celebrated, but you are now being frustrated. You know what? You need the kind of prayer we are praying to that God of suddenly appear by fire. Who needs this prayer? Those whose glory has been tampered with. There are some people here listening to me. You know yourself. Years ago, you know what you have achieved. Now, the glory, something is drawn somewhere. The Bible says the glory, your essay is in your glory. That is your destiny. If it has been tampered with, now what happened to Manasseh and Ephraim? They were tampered with. You know what? You need to pray tonight that God, this is not me. I am more than this. Why am I passing through this? You know what? There is a gift inside of you. I always tell people, they call it the seed of greatness. That people should pay money to be able to receive something from you. You know what? That is the way we want us to pray tonight. I don't want us to just pray just like uh, anything. We want to call upon the Lord that, Father, I hate frustration. It's my season of celebration. Beloved, in this country, beloved, those who are in the UK, it's really difficult. I'll be honest with you. But listen to me. There are some people living in Goshen. They were the children of God. Once you are serving God with one heart and you are doing what is right before him, it will make me for you. Look at Joseph. How can a foreigner who has no Egyptian passport became a prime minister inside Egypt and they became second in charge of the old city? Look at this country where we are today. And the people of the land, are they the one ruling the country? No. The man that told you about it was a Pakistan man. He came here at the end of, at the end of six. And as I speak to you, he's an MP. MP. Why? Because why? that he was able to arrest soon against those powers. You know, those who really have been tampered with, you need to pray tonight. You need to pray. You have been a giver, you are now a beggar. You need to pray tonight. <laughs> Loneliness instead of settlement. You need to pray tonight. When people are asking you that, oh boy, I don't understand. Where is your God? You know, God must did it. God must did it. Yes, I prayed the prayer. I've told you before here. I said, God, in this life, you have an assignment for me. I cannot afford to mess up. I cannot continue like this. I cry to the level that the neighbor had to knock my door. Hey, hey, Mike, are you all right? Are you all right? I said, sorry, sir. You don't understand that where I come from, there, there is no light. Yeah, there, there is light 24 hours here. And they want me to go back there. Something must happen in my life. You need to call upon the name of the Lord. The violent take it by force. You are, they were asking, where is your God? You have been fasting, you are the usher in your class, your, your, your workplace, in your church, sorry. you are this, you are that. What is the everyday? We that we don't go to church. We are enjoying ourselves. Beloved, you need to cry, God, they are asking you, where is my God? You see, the whole world is asking, oh my God, oh my God, my name. You must tell God to manifest in your life. Number five, number nine, let's listen. Those who need this prayer, those who are laboring, and there's nothing to show for their labor. You need to pray the prayer tonight. Those whose four days are thought to 40 years in their life, you know where you need to pray the prayer. Those who good things don't last in their hand. People marry for a week and they say they are broken up. They get a job and they say, sorry, we don't want you to do. 
<laughs> I met somebody who said she he went to the toilet, just toilet, just toilet. Now let me just go to the toilet and come back. This is sorry, we don't want you, just go, we don't want you to What kind of life is that? Is this bad power that we are talking about? Those who are who are battling with foundational issues in their family, nobody has traveled. So they are wrestling seriously that you know what? But she don't know about that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. He said, those who are experiencing closed doors, they need the God of suddenly to appear. And those who have been like, having attacks in the dreams, you have been attacked in the dream, seeing dead people, seeing you failing, seeing you falling down from the mountain, seeing all the all this negative dream is not ordinary dream. Dream and dream, those of us who have seen my thing before that picture of dream, dream are real as in real life. You need to take it seriously. Praise the name of the Lord. And finally, if you notice that your, your business, your things have been attacked, your marriage is under attack, don't just put your hands and say, well, if God will do what you want to do. No, 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 no. You, the violent take it by force. The violent, you need to take what belongs to you by force. No wonder. God said, Exodus 3, verse 8. He said, I, I have come down to deliver them out of their hand of the future. So God has come down tonight to bring them out of the language of good and the language are large, flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanite, the Egypt, and the Amorite, and the Perizzite, and the Amorite, and the Germans. And God said, I will take you to your promised land. Invariably, but he has to calm down. That's what calm down all these periods. Calm down. We are with you. must tell God to calm down your prayer. Do not hide your face from me, O Lord. Father, you are going to pray. But before we pray that prayer, you know, I always say, people, a part time Christian can never serve a full time God. And also, a part time Christian can never fight a full time demon. And that's why we want to pray tonight. But if you are here tonight, you know that you are one leg in, one leg out. If Jesus should come today, you will not be able to make it. Look at what happened yesterday. Everyone in the whole world, in America, everywhere. We were seeing the full moon eclipse. Sorry, eclipse. It's a sign that people don't. I was telling my wife yesterday. I said, Look at it. It's a sign that God is God. I think camera to see it was all over the wind news, CNN, everywhere. It's, they should acknowledge that there is God there, that one day he will wrap up the world. That's it. So if you are living in sin, will you be able to rapture with Jesus? Will you be able to make it at the end? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. No, no, he will spit you out. So if you are here tonight, you really feel that, well, God of sudden he must appear, that I need this kind of message tonight. I'm up to lead you back to Christ. So if you are here, you want to surrender your life to Christ, or you want to rededicate. Nobody's leading you. Nobody's looking at your camera. Nobody's there. Just put your hand in your chest and say this once after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I have honestly come to you tonight as a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. Wash me and make me warm. For cleanse, use your blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary. Don't let it be a waste upon my life. Tonight, O oh Lord, I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. Write my name, O Lord, in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, I thank you for tonight. For those who you have, I don't even know them, but you know them by your name, that they have really dedicated their life. Father, I send them in Jesus' name. Write their name in the book of life. Father, tonight, O Lord, don't let the enemy snatch them from your hand again. In the name of Jesus. Father, now appear in that situation so that they will know that there is God in Israel. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, what to pray? I don't know the matter you want God to appear suddenly. It's not wasting time. He said, I will appear speedily. That's what he said. So if you are here tonight, you know the matter. If your own is a vacation, get it ready. If your own is business, get it ready. If your own is a conception, get it ready. If your own is marriage, get, I don't know which area. But everybody must cry to the Lord tonight and say, my father, my father, my father, you are the God of suddenly over this matter. Appear by fire. If you haven't got your immigration, tell God to appear. Tell God to appear. If you need a job, tell God to appear. If you want to marry, tell God to appear. Oh, yeah. Aha. 
Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, you are the God of suddenly. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Appear, 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 appear. Aha. Tell God to appear. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Appear over my family. Over my children. Please appear tonight. Over my marriage. Oh, yeah. Appear. Over my children. Oh, yeah. Appear. Over my business. Oh, yeah. Appear. Over my health. Oh, yeah. Appear. Over your baby. Oh, yeah. Appear. Open your mouth. Tell God to appear. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Pray, 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 pray. I beg you tonight, in the name of Jesus, tell God to appear over your health. The Lord must appear over your life. The Lord must appear over your children. The Lord must appear over your business. Oh, Lord, appear. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. God is about to prosper some people here tonight. Begin to tell the Lord, Father, over this business. Oh, yeah, appear. Oh, yeah, appear. Oh, yeah, appear. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Tell God tonight. That's why we are here. I beg you in the name of Jesus, oh, put him on the prayer. Oh, yeah, pray the prayer in the name of Jesus, Father. Please, oh, Lord, over this business in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. Tell God to appear in Jesus' name. We are praying, you know what? We are going to pray this one. This one is for those who are praying concerning their businesses. Solomon, first Kings chapter 3, the Bible says he went to Gideon. And they made 1,000 bond offering. There has never been in the history of anybody that made that kind of offering. They did only one, some two, some ten. But when Solomon brought 1,000 rams to the altar and they began to shed the blood, and the, the blood was gushing out like a gutter, and they are, ah, well, God said, Who has done this one? They traced the blood back to Solomon. Go went to him and said, Solo, please stand up. <laughs> You cannot give this out of family and just be quiet. What do you want? A blank check. He said, oh God, I, you know I'm a young man. I don't know how to go, to go out. Give me wisdom to do your people. You know, they are many, they are mighty. They are so, well, they are, well, they are so much. Give me wisdom to do your people. He said, is that all? He said, that's all. Ah, he said, because of what you have done, in blessing, I will bless you. I will honor you. No king would be as rich as you. The Bible says the, the number of sheep that Solomon had on the seashore, over 40,000 sheep. That is what they call the God of suddenly. If the Lord could not wait, he said, he said that night, God appeared to Solomon. You are going to pray tonight. If you are a business owner, please, I beg you, go and pray over your business. For the next seven days, lay your hands upon your business, anything that's represent your business. It might be your ID card. It might be, I lay your hand on your to pray. God of Sunday, over this business, arise by fire. Over, begin to pray over it. 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 And while you are praying within the seven days, the Lord will lay to your heart of a particular seed of Solomon. So that seed, I don't know where you want to see it, but God will lead you to do it. So it go after the seven days. I can promise you, the God of suddenly that cannot disappoint, the God of suddenly that cannot let you down, the God he will he will rise up on your behalf and do what he did. He now went to Solomon and Gideon. He said, Mister Solo, 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 stand up, please. You cannot give this kind of burnt offering and a blood on the altar like this and go and say, What do you want? A blank check. You will receive your own in Jesus' name. I say you will receive your own. So for the next seven days, for those who are some business, and if you have a problem with your children, maybe there's an issue going on, do exactly the same thing. By the grace of God, God will lead us to this one. Let's pray. God, God wants us to pray for the children. But before then, please do exactly. If you have any matter that's worrying you about your children, right, put the picture in the next seven days. Father, you are the God of Sunday. Over this boy, over this girl, do something by fire. You will see God know. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. You are going to lift up your voice again and cry to the Lord and say, my father, my father, you are the very present every time of trouble. In this year, 2024, let my glory begin to arise in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Aha. Let my glory arise in the name of Jesus. Oh, your prayer. Oh, your prayer. Oh, your prayer. 
Pray, 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 pray. Let my glory arise in the name of Jesus. The God of suddenly. Oh, yeah, appear by fire. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Over my mother, over my health, over my children, over my destiny. Appear, Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> appear and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Lord. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Ah, Father, I pray for everyone tonight. I thank you for the privilege to pray. The only thing the devil cannot do, the devil can sing, the devil can dance, but he cannot pray. The one there's no one to pray to. That's why we have the upper hand than the devil. Daddy, tonight we have called upon you in the days of our trouble. Just as you did for Peter, when the church were gathered together to pray for Peter, I pray you send an angel to deliver us, to deliver Peter. I pray for everyone here tonight, every prayer seed you have sown tonight. In the name of Jesus, before the 30th of this month, you will see the hand of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, those who are believing God for pregnancy, receive your own miracle babies. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are believing God for wife or husband, your spouse, this month, the Lord will connect you together. In the name of Jesus, those who are believing God for one thing or the other, I declare and I declare. By the power in the name of Jesus, you will not fail. You will not fail. Every good thing you lay your hands on this time around, it shall prosper by fire. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God will be upon you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. In fact, the Lord said I should tell somebody right now, just to see this, before Thursday, this week that we meet, there is somebody, your son will be, come and join me, sing hallelujah. That shall be your story in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will have been delivered. It shall be well with you. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. It is done and is settled in the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Say thank you, Jesus, seven times. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, can we share the grace of fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, as if fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore? Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Don't forget again, by the grace of God, invite somebody for Thursday service. I pray it shall be well with you. Same time, 10 p.m. UK time. It shall dwell with you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Seven powerful. Hallelujah. What to go? Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. Amen. God Thank bless you, sir. Thank 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 you